Hey everyone, everyone from the vault here. Welcome back to more Fallout 3. We're gonna go ahead and jump right back in. So see you back in just a sec. Or, well, I think it sounds like a sentry bot. I think we all know what that is. Also, I think I should probably, I should probably fix my gun up here. A repair with another one. Yeah, we did. For sure. I've been trying to figure out where the, uh, the radio is so I can turn it off. Ha! Ah. Let's see, are you up here? Are you down here? Oh, what the hell? Where are you? Ah! I'm stuck! Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Locked myself behind a door, almost shot Sharon. You know, that's pretty much how it goes. All right, we'll go upstairs in a second here. Focus. Are you kidding me? Come on. All right. Ooh, I must be burning. A hunk of burning. Vault dweller? Vault baby? I guess technically, are you a vault baby or are you a baby that was raised in the vault? What would make you a vault baby? Oh boy, look at that. Good job protecting yourselves from the feds, y'all. I'm, I'm really, really glad you protected yourself from the feds. So what exactly were you doing? What horrible, terrible things were you doing? I just want to make sure that this reconnected to the same place I think it did. Okay, yes. Ooh, I just want to make sure I'm not like going too far off, but we also want to make sure we actually explore everything. Because there's definitely a story to this building. All right, just all personnel memo again. Got some food. Not really interested in taking it. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I do kind of enjoy, I think I've mentioned this before, the uh, like mental role play of, well, let's leave it for the next person. I kind of like that because it, it's, you know, when I don't need it, it's kind of like, well, why take it? At this point, I'm basically just saving myself. But I don't know, there's something about it that's like, well, I could leave it for the next person. Feels kind of, I don't know, like I'm a nice person. Okay, so... Real quick, let me check this. Um, so we haven't been to the archives yet. Is that when we go upstairs? I'm assuming that's maybe up here. Well, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Oh. Woo! As usual, I will apologize. I am trying to, um, if you haven't heard me talk about, I, I don't know how you wouldn't have, but if you haven't heard me talk about the fact that I've got another puppy, which is great. I, my dog, um, he, I really thought that he was going to pass away. Um, and there was just like a realization that I, I don't think I can live very well without my dog. Like my dog is very special to me. Um, so I have a puppy now and of course my dog ended up healing miraculously. No one can figure out how he's doing so well considering how sick he was and how long he was in the hospital. Um, but it means that on top of before when I felt like I didn't have a lot of time to record, now I have even less time to record. And I know I think I'm pretty sure I've kind of talked about this, um, but because of that, let's see, yeah, it says that, okay. Ooh, okay. Well, here we go. Here's a new area. I was like, I know we are missing something. There we go. But anyway, it means I have even less time to record now. So there's kind of a... Where the fuck was that quantum? Oh, there it is. I can't see it from over there. Tricky, tricky. Nice hiding of the quantum. I guess we'll just take him. All right. 
I'm hearing somebody. It also means that like the entire time I'm trying to play a game right now, uh, while I'm playing, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening for little puppies, little puppy noises. Big dog's asleep on my lap, but the puppy, oh, he makes little noises and then I have to go check on him because I'm afraid, you know, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. So I might seem a little bit more harried than usual when I'm playing games. Also, if you don't remember, um, I'm still doing that weird trick where I have to play through a version of the game that has been cast onto uh, from, uh, from my software, from my recording software. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I can't talk right now. This has been a nice place for ammo so far. Not what I would expect to uh, to find in an office building, but I am pleasantly surprised. What about over here? Oh yeah, we've been here. Okay. Let's go down these stairs real quick. We did run into another stairwell. What do I got here? We ran into another stairwell. I think at least two at this point. Okay, let's not go in the archives, but now we know where the door is. Let's check this real quick. Okay. I think... Hmm. I feel pretty confident. Let's just go out this way. I'm not entirely... Like I said, I don't remember this building. Which is kind of surprising me, because... It's also sometimes hard for me to know if I don't remember something. Ooh. Well, that did not do me well. <laughs> that did not do well for me. <laughs> sometimes, too, I don't know if I don't remember it. Actually, I don't want the torso. Try that again. Sometimes I don't know if I don't remember something or if it's more just... Um, or if I don't know something, or if I don't remember it. Because I will also admit that I do have a problem with not remembering things. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I'm screwed now. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. There we go. Okay. There's still another one, though. Fuck, are y'all protecting in here? I thought I heard another one. Maybe we didn't. What were you doing in this building? Anyway, okay. So it comes down to if I don't remember it or if I never saw that area. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I didn't see things and then someone will remind me. No, no, no. We've talked about this. <laughs> I have a friend who will tell you I do this with electric kettles. I think I learned about electric kettles three times <laughs> before I remembered what a fucking electric kettle was. And now I have one, so, you know, you can give me a break. All right, before we go through here, we really need to go, we need to backtrack. I was following noises so that we could take out enemies instead of focusing on looking what was actually here. And I know how much I miss as it is when I am looking. So, oop, I'm hearing noises. Who is shooting where? What is going on? Is Sharon involved in the battle for his life back here and I have no idea? He sure is. Um, okay, Sharon, I did not ask you to go into this area. But of course you did. Of course you did. All right, let's, let's go. I guess we're going in here anyway. I suppose I can always recheck it if I want. This definitely is a... It's kind of good I didn't run into this earlier, I suppose, because now I'm quite overpowered. Things are a lot easier. Oh, there might not actually be anything else in here. All right, Sharon, you were right. <laughs> you were right to finish this off. All right, let's go check out the other area again. Sorry, I'm doing a really good job of just backtracking constantly. Okay. Checking, no. Okay, I'll take the rounds. The 
That's not bad. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing great on the lock picking today. Ah! I'm doing really bad on the lock picking today. I made my dog's ears go up because I made a noise. Wow, okay, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. So embarrassing. Also, though, I do want to blame the PC. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. I've talked about it before. It is harder to lockpick on the PC because for some reason, my... Did you say something, Sharon? Okay, no, okay. <laughs> but my, uh... My mouse doesn't seem to be as precise. It like suddenly skips all areas sometimes. It's super weird. All right, I don't think there's anything else to worry about here. Let's go this way. I do feel like there's definitely places I missed in the beginning. Come on. Come on. There we go. I feel like there's definitely some locations I missed in the beginning. I guess I should be taking their... I should be. I should be taking their, uh... Their ammo. Alright, let's check this out. Anything else? Nope, just the memo. Sorry, dude. I mean, dying at your desk is the worst. I... I can't think of a worse place I would want to end my life. But work is one of those places for sure. Okay, this is going to take me back to the main lore, I'm pretty sure. So before we do that, this is the only problem with having two, two uh, followers here, two little accomplices following me. Sometimes they do get in my way. And they can be annoying when they get in your way. Let's go ahead and take the ammo. That's probably a good idea. I just want to make sure that we've actually seen everything, because these types of locations are good because they're fairly linear, but I can learn how to pick a lock. Here, watch my mouse. Do you see how it just does not move as precisely? I swear to God, is my controller. I could use a controller. I've had a couple people say, well, why don't you switch to the controller? The problem is I relearned the the uh, controls already. <laughs> so when I tried to switch to the controller, it was terrible. I couldn't, like, I just, I, I wasn't as good because I was so used to using the controller by this point. Or I mean the mouse and keyboard, excuse me. Um, let's grab you guys. I might have actually visited everything. There's no way though, because there's got to be more. Like, I want to know what they were doing. Come on. There's gotta be a little more to tell me the story going on here. Usually this game is really good at giving you like pretty good story, so. I do love a good story location. Here we go. I don't think we've gone up this way. Aha! Yes! Yes! Oh! oh. Okay, don't move that teddy bear. But we need to we need to do some killing. Like y'all just really loved your securities. Security bots, didn't you? Your sentry bots. What the fuck were they doing here, man? Alright, we're gonna go back to that teddy bear in a bit. I love him. I want I want to uh, take a picture of him. Take the Nuka Colas, as you know, I have a thing about that. Alright, let's just real quick. I think. Nope. None at all personnel. Yep, I hear him too, guys. <gasps> yes. I think they're above us though. Are they? Yeah, I think they're above us. Okay. Where the fuck are they? Oh, 
Where the hell did Sharon go? Oh. If one of them dies, I'm gonna be so pissed. If I die, it's fine. If they die, I don't think so. They're not allowed to do that. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Like I said, though, we are going to go back. I want to take a little picture of that teddy bear just because I think it's so fun when the teddy bears are in fun places. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's try to get around here. I guess we can open this. Actually, not too bad. Okay. Anything good? I mean, it's fine. Anywhere. I assume they are on this level. Yep, there we go. Ooh, there we go. They came up some other way. I don't, I'm not sure how they got up. We'll figure it out, but. Whoa, I <laughs> didn't expect that for some stupid reason. I was not looking to see if there were baddies. I was not checking for baddies. Okay, come on. I feel like there's probably some other entrance we could have gone in this whole time that could have just like disabled all of these, but this looks like a a manager suite or something. Let's see, anything? No. Just his employee ID missing. There's nothing here. Hmm. Okay. Real quick, I'm gonna pull up. Okay, we're not too I feel like we might be missing a shit ton in here just because as I've been wandering I haven't been so careful to make sure I'm actually paying attention to where the hell I'm going. You'll do. No assault rifles please. We're good on those. Is there a dime a dozen? All right so this is where I'd come through before. Um anything here? I mean Again, not probably going to use them, but oh, that trunk looks like it have should have something in it. It looks so, I don't know, it stands out like feels like something I should be able to pull something out of. Let's see, anything good? Oh, OK, R&D, R&D, I can do that. And did you do? Gonna try to brute force. Didn't work out, but we'll try it again. Okay, brainwashing would be a great one. I think I'm gonna change all my passwords now to brainwashing. Not really, but I've always wondered how other people make their passwords. This game would have you believe people just choose random weird things. All right, lab reports. Uh, prototype ZRIN363. All right, experimental prototype makes extensive use of hardware common to liquid ammunition flame projection weapons. While initial test results were impressive, extreme weight and extreme weight of unit, excuse me, and fume inhalation rendered most test subjects incapable of firing the unit or remaining conscious under typical field conditions. All right, let's try 375. Prototype inducers proprietary introduces, excuse me. Let me try that again. Prototype introduces proprietary ammunition type. Conventional 10 millimeter shells house a caplet containing amalgamating agents. I think that's what that word is. When the caplet was broken in field tests, uh, localized fire bursts and shrapnel projection met requirements for project. However, in field tests, amalgamum caplet ammunition proved too fragile and several detonated from excessive vibration or walk speed. That's really worth it. 401. 
Okay, let's try that again. Uh, lab report prototype ZRIN401. Prototype attempts to refine results of Acumus coating within weapon barrel. Initial tests showed promise as predicted delivery friction superheats projectile as it is delivered from the weapon and conventional 10 millimeter ammunition can be used. However, during live fire testing, subjects firing the weapon in rapid succession suffered from severe burns to fingers and palm. Sounds good. We want that for sure. 418. All right. Prototype refines Acumus barrel experiments by addition of retardant jacketing as well as internal heat diffusers. Rate of fire diminished from unmodified version of weapon. Unconventional 10 millimeter ammunition does, or excuse me, conventional. I said unconventional. Sorry. I know how to read. Conventional 10 millimeter ammunition does not fully liquefy until impact, giving the 418 exceptional accuracy compared to earlier prototypes. Live fire tests report no major casualties. Recommended 418 as production candidate. All right, so is this the gun I'm going to find? Because I'll take a gun that shoots a 10 mil, but uh, is actually useful. <laughs> 